Amy Goodman. President-elect Donald Trump has announced a handful of new cabinet picks. On Tuesday, he named billionaire Steven Mnuchin to be Treasury Secretary. Mnuchin has deep ties on Wall Street, including working as a partner for Goldman Sachs, where his father also worked. Mnuchin's hedge fund also played a role in the housing crisis after it scooped up the failing California bank IndyMac in 2008. Under Mnuchin's uh, ownership, IndyMac foreclosed on 36,000 families, particularly elderly residents trapped in reverse mortgages. Mnuchin was accused of running a foreclosure machine. The bank, which was renamed One West, was also accused of racially discriminatory lending practices. In 2015, Mnuchin sold the bank for $3.4 billion, $1.8 billion more than he bought it for. Trump's also reportedly picked billionaire private equity investor Wilbur Ross to be Commerce Secretary. Ross specializes in flipping bankrupt companies for profit, often buying the U.S. companies at low prices, then selling them to overseas investors. He and his companies have sometimes shipped jobs in factories overseas, practices Donald Trump has railed against. Meanwhile, Donald Trump has picked George W. Bush's former Labor Secretary, Elaine Chao, to be Transportation Secretary. Secretary. Chow is the wife of Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky and immigrated to the United States from Taiwan when she was eight years old. She's been a fixture in Washington, D.C., for more than 20 years. Trump also named Seema Verma to be administrator of the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Verma has worked closely with Vice President-elect Mike Pence, and her health policy firm helped design Indiana's Medicaid expansion under the Affordable Care Act. Trump has still not announced his pick for secretary of state, although he did dine with former Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney Tuesday night in New York City. Other possible candidates for secretary of state include former New York City Mayor Rudolph Giuliani, retired General David Petraeus, and former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations.